in this video, I'm going to be talking all about the Tusa Taekwondo shoe we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. I'm going to be talking about all of its features, why you'd want to wear this, who would wear this, and at the end, I'm going to put together a short montage of people training in the Tusa Taekwondo shoe. Hi, my name's Doug Swift. I've been doing martial arts for the past 34 years and I've been the owner of Enzo Martial Arts for the past 17 years. If you like this video, we'd really appreciate for you to hit the subscribe button, get all the latest videos and updates from Enzo Martial Arts. So let's get into this video and learn all about the Tusa Taekwondo shoe. So if you've been involved in martial arts for a long time, you'll know that certain brands are out there that supply just one kind of discipline of martial arts. You get it in BJJ and MMA and Thai boxing and there's like specific brands. Tusa is absolutely no exception to this rule and they're one of the brands that supplies Taekwondo almost exclusively. They don't really do stuff for anybody else. Now, with the emergence of Olympic Taekwondo, WT, which used to be called WTF, but because of that particular acronym, it was changed to WT, and they provide Olympic Taekwondo stuff all the way from sort of grassroots WT Taekwondo training all the way up to the Olympics. So Tusa is one of the big, big brands that has that kind of Olympic tick and it has also like the approval from WT to be used in all training and competition. At Enzo, we supply Tusa stuff. So Tusa's the Taekwondo brand that we supply here. So it's really nice to have all those approvals for the WT style stuff. Now there are other styles of Taekwondo out there that, that don't need those approvals like ITF and in the UK we have TAGB and there's ITS and loads of other ones around but the WT approval stuff from Tusa is what I'm going to be talking about today and even more specifically about this particular shoe. Over the years we've supplied quite a lot of different Taekwondo shoes, you know we've had the Adidas ones and there's, there was like pine woods or some pine tree or something and we've had various different brands. This is the shoe that we now stock from Tusa and Taekwondo sho shoes always from, follow a very similar pattern. There's not a huge amount of change in the shoes partly because it's what Taekwondo practitioners need. So things that you need, firstly is very, very lightweight shoe. It's very rare that you'll find a shoe in sort of normal circulation that will be this lightweight. It's incredibly light. And you know, when people first pick it up, that's the first thing that you notice how light it is. You need a light shoe. When you kick in, obviously Taekwondo is very heavy in terms of kicks. You don't want anything weighing down your feet. Even other martial arts shoes aren't anywhere near as light as this. So you need something that's just not going to restrict you getting that leg up there and moving it as quickly as possible. Another thing that you'll notice on this shoe is the thinness of the sole. It's incredibly thin. And even if you put your fingers through it, there's very little space between the sole and where your foot will go. I personally think it's so you can feel the floor. There's other styles like Tai Chi where you really, really want to be able to feel the floor. You want, you want that uh, feedback from the floor so you know exactly where you are. This will be, allow you to have ultimate balance. You're not getting any flex or squishing from the sole of the shoe. Your, your feet are almost planted on the shoe and there's just a little grippy barrier helping you stay on your feet. So it's very important that it has that really thin sole. Another feature of these shoes that you'll see is that it's got air holes all the way on the side here. It's got them across the top and they're also made out of very breathable material. So obviously you're training a lot, you're getting very hot, it means your feet can breathe and, and stay nice and cool when you're training, you're not getting itchy feet. Also, it does mean that the shoes can dry out. So after training, they're not getting smelly and stinking, they're soaking wet with sweat. They actually have a chance of drying out, the air can blow through them. And you don't want a shoe that's just gonna be stinking all the time, they're gonna rot really quick and you're gonna have to replace them. Whereas with these, because of those air holes, it means it can breathe. They've got a chance of actually staying dry and fresh for a lot, lot longer. Tusa's also got antibacterial and antifungal properties embedded within the sole and certainly within the insole as well that I'll talk about in a minute. Again, this just helps give you a shoe that's going to last for longer. It's exactly what you want. 
One feature of these that I haven't seen on Taekwondo shoot before but I really, really like is they've put an insole in. So once the insole's out, there's about that much thickness between between where your foot will go and the sole and then it's got a little insole that fits inside. And again, this is full of holes, so really nice and breathable. And this is made out of like a bamboo fiber, which is quite interesting, super durable, but again, nice and squishy to give you a little bit of comfort. You do want just a little bit of comfort when training. You don't want to be right on that, on that hard, hard rubber sole. So just having that insole is a nice little feature that, like I said, I've never seen before on a Taekwondo shoe, so it's a nice addition, something that Tusa's has added in over the years to improve the quality of their shoe. Even more features packed into this shoe is this pivot point on the bottom of the shoe. You won't get this on very many shoes at all, only really ones that are designed for kicking, therefore Taekwondo shoes. You get this pivot point, so it gives you gives you grip while turning on the ball of your foot for kicking. So it's specifically there for those, those kicks, which is actually a very, very useful feature. And people will know if, if you don't have that pivot point grip on your shoe, you will kind of wear down that particular bit of your shoe. And then obviously it reduces the life of your shoes. So a really nice feature from Tusa. One of the final features is that you'll notice there are no laces at all on this shoe. It is a slip on shoe and it's got an elasticated bit at the front for, to get them on and off nice and easy. Like there's a few reasons for this. One, it's just easy to get them on and off, nice and comfortable. But the other one is when you're kicking people, there's no laces or certainly metal eye holes in the shoes. So you're kicking people, you're just, it's less damaging, it's gonna hurt your foot less and it's gonna hurt them less, which is really, really good. So like I said, Taekwondo shoes haven't particularly changed much over the years. They all follow a very similar for format, but Tusa really packed in loads of features into this and they've called it the classic Tusa Taekwondo shoe. So that is the classic style of Taekwondo boot. They do do another one, which I'll show you a bit later, but this is their classic shoe. Very, very nice, loads of features, and a really good seller at Enzo. Now, is it only for Taekwondo practitioners? Will anyone else be allowed to use it? Well, of course, absolutely anyone can use this shoe if you want. There are gonna be kickboxing practitioners that would really benefit from this. Definitely um, would, 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 would see this as like one of the best shoes that a kickboxing practitioner would use if they're allowed to wear shoes. Obviously, if people have got problems with their feet when in the barefoot styles like karate, uh, other styles of taekwondo, not WT, kickboxing, and usually it's barefoot, if you've got problems with your feet and you want to wear a shoe, this will be the absolute perfect shoe for you. Um, in terms of where you'd want to train with it, it's an indoor shoe only. The sole's so thin, if you wanted to wear these outside, A, your feet will get really, really cold really quickly, and also the grip would wear out. This grip is designed to be super grippy, so therefore quite soft. If you're wearing them outside, they're just gonna dissolve quite quickly. So it is an indoor shoe only. If you wanna wear it outside, that's up to you, absolutely no problem, but you might get complaints if you're trying to get into a sports hall or a mat with dirty feet. Um, but yeah, indoor shoe only, recommended by us, and definitely for any martial art that involves kicking, we'll love the shoe. Now, sizing is always a problem for people. All of the shoes that we have here at Enzo Martial Arts have very kind of specific, um, requirements or we, we give specific advice in terms of fitting those shoes they're, they're all slightly different in terms of how they fit these tend to come up quite tight so we would say if you're always a perfect eight and you're always a size eight then an eight will be absolutely fine for you that's fine and they will be snug you do want them pretty snug if you're slightly over like an eight and a half i would definitely go up to a nine it, there's no point trying to squeeze down a size at all for these. You definitely want to go up size. Now, if you're an eight and you're thinking about getting a nine, I would still stick with the eight. I think the eight's fine. I'm always an eight and these eight fit me absolutely no problem. But yeah, if you're an eight and a half, I would definitely go up a size and then you're gonna guarantee that you've got a really good fit with these. At Enzo Martial Arts, we do pride ourselves on having a really wide range of products for all the different martial arts, and we like to think we've got a pretty good range for WT Taekwondo. So as well as the Tusha shoes, we also do other Taekwondo shoe from Tusa, which is called the Jet, much grippier, and 
much higher in the shoe. We do two different styles of Dobot for WT Taekwondo. We do the white and the black collar. We do all the sparring kit that you'll need, the head guards, the gloves, forearms, chest protectors, groin guards, shins, and feet. And as you can see behind me, a whole range of weapons if you want to expand out into slightly different disciplines, but still related to Taekwondo. So as promised at the beginning of the video, here's a short montage of people training in Tusa Kit. Thanks very much for watching, I hope it was useful. I hope you learned loads about the ever so classic Tusa Taekwondo shoe. If you like this video, remember to subscribe to the channel and get all the latest videos and updates on all the products here at Enzo Martial Arts. Thanks very much and I'll see you soon. Cheers.